Lastly, you can find all of the settings for Father Graham for Holland in the settings panel. This is where you can restart your session and return to the look for a connection QR code screen. You can manage your account. Uh, so this will um, essentially let you attach your HoloLens to a different account if you need to. And it'll show how many licenses are currently available in your account. And you can check out a license for using it offline if you're going to be using Polygram for HoloLens without an internet connection. Checking out a license allows you to use it for a month offline, um, after which point you'll need to check it back in again. Uh, we can turn on a RUCO mark tracking and QR code tracking, so the HoloLens will then begin looking for those codes and streaming any detected positions to Grasshopper. We can turn on the environmental scan for the space that we're in. Uh, mostly for debugging. We can enable shadows in our model, which comes at some performance cost, but makes things look much more realistic. We can toggle on or off hand visualization, just because visualizing that hand model can be a little bit distracting in some applications. We can turn on and off short hand rays. So you can see here now I have a small cursor uh, about sort of 200 millimeters or 300 millimeters out from my hand. That can be useful for creating applications where you're drawing in space with some cursor in 3D space. Um, keep in mind that you'll then need to interact with the menu using that cursor. So I'll turn that back off. We can change our outline colors and the outline width if you are streaming any objects from Grasshopper that have outlines. And if you scroll up on the panel, uh, you'll also be able to access a link to our documentation uh, an issues and suggestions page for logging bug reports and feedback and also a scale compensation slider so if you're using Polygram for any fabrication tasks over around 3 meters or sort of 10 feet you may find that you need to compensate for the scale of the hologram against physical space because you might not have the two perfectly matching this is a common technique for addressing drift if you are working with a HoloLens 2 and you're working with fabrication tasks over 10 foot or 3 meters, we suggest that you use Twin Build as you'll have far better precision and Twin Build has automatic scale compensation.